So now in this video, we're just going to look at measuring current with the uh, Hantec uh, 2D72 here. So it is, uh, there's a multimeter in there, but it's primarily an oscilloscope and also a waveform generator. So we're going to look at measuring current in this video. So there's a little preparation to do. You need an open circuit. So we have a power being applied to the rails right now, 5 volts, and all of these resistors are connected to the positive supply right there. But uh, then they are just floating there. They're not connected to the uh, negative side of the power supply. You need an opening and you close that opening with the meter in order to measure current. Now the uh, concrete uh, resistor here is high wattage. Uh, 10 watt it's only 5 ohms of resistance. A lot of current is going to flow through this. That's another thing. We have to set the meter to be able to measure more current than you can expect. So we can expect 1 amp of current for the uh, concrete uh, resistor here. So we need to make sure to set it to amps. Whereas these other resistors will be able to measure in milliamps. The meter has a limit of 200 milliamps when it's measuring milliamps. So now we're going to use the uh, probes again to measure current, but we have to be more careful measuring current than voltage. So I'm going to set it there where I have uh, no chance of connecting it to the uh, circuitry over here and accidentally put uh, current through it. We are first going to measure milliamps of current. So the red probe generally you can leave or voltage resistance. Usually you're taking voltage measurements. Uh, so you might as well leave it there when you're not using the meter. Now we got to move it to the milliamp uh, setting. Pretty straightforward. And uh, the meter is off. And we are going to uh, zoom back a little bit and turn it on. Pretty straightforward. This has a battery in it. Um, but the screen's going to go dark to uh, save energy in about 30 seconds. So we uh, need to keep pressing the button. We can leave it powered. Uh, it's a USB-C uh, uh, plug right there like uh, you charge many phones that will keep it from going darker and it will top off the battery as well. So now we zoom in a little and I set the light so we can read this a little easier. So the screen did go darker because we don't have it uh, plugged in right now which would also top off the uh, battery. We're gonna have to hit a button, shouldn't be any button I think, to get the display back on. Uh, so I hit uh, digital multimeter. Scope is what it uh, will be set on the uh, first time you turn it on, at least that's the way it was for me, to get the multimeter uh, settings we got to hit uh, DMM and uh, after the uh, light is lit up of course. And then uh, so it's already set to voltage and you can see we did an earlier video we measured the voltage and then the resistance there. Now we're going to go to uh, DC milliamps. That's what we're going to measure in this video. And you can see that it's telling you where to put the probes as well, which we already have. Now, we have, uh, let's uh, shift the light. Hopefully that looks good enough. There we have uh, 5 volts to the rails. Now, we never want to measure a voltage source directly. And since we have this set to uh, milliamps of current, we don't want to measure that resistor. That's only a 5 ohm resistor. We got to be careful. So first let's uh, get this ready to uh, measure again and I don't think we're going to be able to measure these two uh, resistors, uh, the current through them. So we're going to go to that uh, resistor where the uh, gap is and then we're going to complete the circuit by going to ground. So that's a 270 ohm resistor and approximately 18 milliamps is what we should expect. And of course these are, we're kind of pushing on things so it's bouncing around a little bit. So this is a 15,000 ohm resistor that I had off to the side. And uh, this may be uh, the uh, high end resistance as we can go. I'm not sure exactly uh, what was wrong. But there you can see uh, 5 volts, 15,000 ohms of resistance. And uh, I'm guessing that's right. I didn't do the math ahead of time. So now let's see if we can get a reading uh, from this one. And I hope I, hopefully I just did something dumb, like uh, connected the wrong slot. But no, it looks like uh, it's uh, probably too low of current for it to register for uh, for whatever reason. And then this is a two million ohm resistor, and uh, we're we're not getting anything. So somewhere between about uh, fifteen thousand and seventy five thousand ohms of resistance, it's uh, lowering the current where I don't think the meter is going to uh, measure it. I'll have to look into that more. I wasn't expecting that. 
And now finally we're going to measure a relatively high amount of current. One amp because it's a 5 volt power supply and a 5 ohm resistor. Plus it's good to know the current flowing through it because we had some issues in our recent videos where we think it might be limited even more. So we want to make sure the probes are set somewhere where they're not going to connect to a power supply or anything. That could uh, in this case blow the fuse right there. The 200 milliamp uh, plug is uh, fused. Whereas, as you can see, the amp right there, uh, up to 10 amps, is unfused. And even when you're measuring uh, high current, you don't want to do it for a long time. These meters are uh, supposed to cool down a little bit uh, between uh, measuring high uh, current. But uh, the so hopefully the power just turned off because uh, I left it alone long enough. There we go. Hit uh, power. And, uh, okay, it looks like it doesn't go back to a uh, current. Looks like it went back to voltage when we restarted it, so I didn't uh, I didn't think it would. So now we're going to, uh, I thought it would stay at milliamps. We're going to hit, uh, we already hit the DMM, and then we went to the next menu options. And uh, so there's DC milliamps and DC amps, DCA right there. And now we can measure the uh, resistor. So first I'm going to uh, come to the resistor with the positive side. And then connect the ground. So this jumper goes to the negative rail. As long as we connect to this jumper, uh, the closer we get to the rail, probably a little more accurate it'll be. But uh, there you can see, uh, we're expecting one amp. It looks like it's falling a little bit short. Uh, but as we saw in uh, earlier videos, every time we make uh, these connections and stuff, it adds a tiny amount of uh, resistance right there. And uh, so probably less than an ohm, I would think, since this is only uh, five ohms. Uh, if we were adding another ohm of resistance, I think it would be below uh, 0.8 amps, but we were a little bit above that. So uh, we could uh, do calculations and stuff to see how much uh, the other resistance is all along this path to uh, where the power is provided. Uh, but in any case, uh, that's really it for this video, but we want to uh, do a couple things. First, let's get the uh, probe out of amps. And uh, this is the safest one, uh, where it uh, measures voltages and resistance and stuff. It's best to uh, get it out of measuring current as soon as you're done measuring current. And then as we saw when we turn the, uh, well the power just went off on its own, uh, but after we turned the power back on, it uh, went to uh, voltage. And that is the uh, safest setting. So I think I hit the button to get it to light up again. And uh, DC voltage or AC voltage, doesn't matter is uh, kind of the safest uh, setting. You can pretty much measure voltages of anything. This has a limit of 600 volts. Stay way away from that. Uh, but as long as you don't measure about 600 volts, there's really no way you can mess up the meter uh, uh, measuring voltage. Um, I don't want to say there is no way because uh, some people can find a way to uh, screw anything up. Um, one thing though is uh, if you're measuring voltage and you touch uh, two metal spots that aren't supposed to connect directly together the probe is long enough it could connect them directly together it's one good reason why uh, you should keep uh, that on right there help uh, prevent that a little bit that's kind of the biggest danger you got when it comes to measuring voltages so I'm gonna set this up to be like it was when I first turned it on where it was set to uh, measure uh, scope reading right there and uh, we're gonna end the video there I'll Turn the power off and uh, just got to hit the button. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.